Hi everyone, it's Kate. Today I'm going to be doing a comparison review of my four entry-level 3D printers. Uh, you may be in the market for a 3D printer and if you're a beginner or just getting started out with 3D printing, this is the video for you. I'm going to take you through some of these popular 3D printers, tell you what I like and don't like about them, and give you some considerations of what you should be looking for when you're looking to buy an entry-level 3D printer. So we have here today the Flash Forge Finder. We have the Elegoo Neptune 4. We have the Anycubic Cobra Neo. And then we have the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro. Uh, I purchased these three 3D printers myself on Amazon. This Flash Forge was given to me by the brand about a year and a half, two years ago for another project, but I did receive this one for free. All right, so let's first talk about the assembly process. Obviously, when looking at 3D printers, one of the considerations may be whether the printer comes fully assembled. In this case, the Flash Forge printer here is the only one that comes fully assembled. Any type of printer that kind of has this box type of frame is more likely to be fully assembled versus these type of printers where um, there's just a, a flat frame on the back. They all come flat packed and then you have to assemble this frame and assemble the spool and assemble the um, side uh, monitor here. So. The Flash Forge definitely does come out on top when it comes to assembly. That of course contributes to potentially an increased price for these type of printers. Um, as you can imagine, it's harder to ship this big box than it is a flat packed box. So, um, but if you're, if you're someone who doesn't like to assemble things, the idea of you know putting together furniture uh, stresses you out, then the same thing might be the case for 3D printers. I do find that both, all three of these other printers had easy to follow instructions for the assembly. It wasn't a hard process, but 3D printers are, you know, very precise instruments and you do have to assemble them correctly in order for them to work. If, if, you're not, if you don't assemble them correctly, then they won't be printing out that filament in the right spot. And so the fact that the Flash Forge Finder does come fully assembled, I think, is a big positive for beginners. Okay, so let's move on now to the filament. Um, all of these printers are compatible with a variety of filaments. The Elegoo Neptune 4 um, is more is the most up-to-date and upgraded model that has a little bit more compatibility. It adds nylon to the list, but the other ones are compatible with your most popular filaments like ABS, PLA, PETG. Uh, one thing to note that's different about the Flash Forge versus the other three printers is that the Flash Forge has the filament on the back. Um, so there's a, a filament spool holder on the back of this printer. Personally, I don't like that as much. I like these ones that have the print, um, the filament on the top. I just think it's easier to take the filament on and off without having to move the printer. I kind of have to like go around my Flash Forge printer and kind of move it in order to get that filament in and out because I have it up against a wall. So personally, I like the top spool and maybe the the back spool looks nicer, but uh, personally, I do like having it on the top. So I definitely give the filament a, a bigger positive for these printers here. Uh, both the Elegoo printers, both the Neptune 3 Pro and the 4, as well as the Flash Forge Finder, both did have a filament detector included with the printer. So um, you can see it actually on the top of the Elegoo right here. So this thing will alert the printer if the filament runs out and pause the print and allow you time to uh, change the filament over so that you can continue your print and you won't lose your hard work. Uh, I did find with the Flash Forge, again, I've had this printer for over a year and a half. I found after some time, it started just telling me there was no filament, even when there was filament there. Um, I just didn't find it very accurate, the filament detector. I don't know if that was just unique to mine or, or what. I didn't actually contact customer support about it because I just turned it off because um, I wasn't really as worried about it. So I'm not sure if that's unique to the to my model or not, but I haven't had any issues with the Elegoo one detecting filament or accidentally turning off. The next uh, thing to consider when looking at these 3D printers is how the leveling works. Uh, so both, um, well actually the Elegoo, the Anycubic, and the Elegoo 3 
all have auto leveling. Um, the Flash Forge does not have auto leveling. You have to manually level, so you have to twist. There's a little nut that you have to turn underneath the uh, Flash Forge, and so it will pick three spots on the bed and you stick a piece of uh, white paper underneath and feel under the nozzle for tension. And you do that in three spots on the flash forge. I found it fairly you know, easy to do. And once you got a feeling for the tension, I didn't find it to be an issue, but it doesn't have an auto leveling feature. The Elegoo um, Anticubic and the other Elegoo, you still do have to do the paper thing once to set your Z offset. But then after you've set the Z offset once, it will auto level the rest of the bed, which is nice. I have had some issues with my Anticubic Cobra Neo with the leveling. Uh, I did notice that this uh, particular model, even though I only bought it maybe about two or three months ago, it's already been upgraded to version two. And it looks like in version two, they're solving some of those leveling issues. So that's a good thing. In terms of bed and build plate size, I actually think these models are all very comparable. So I'll just take off the, they all come with flexible beds and you can see that they're almost exactly the same size here in terms of their build plate size. I do absolutely love a flexible bed for beginners. It's so much easier to peel your prints off of the bed if you are using a flexible bed. The Flash Forge actually does come with a glass bed as well. And I basically have never used it. I used it once or twice. It was really hard to get my prints off and so I stopped using it. So the flexible bed is definitely the way to go in my opinion if you are a beginner. Um, it's much easier to use. All right, in terms of the uh, sort of firmware and software that you use, um, both both the Elegoo printers, I've used Elegoo Cura to slice. Uh, Anycubic, I've used Cura as well. Flashforge comes with its own uh, slicing software called Flashprint. I actually do like that slicing software. It's easy for beginners. It's very intuitive. Um, it's kind of, you know, very easy and clear when you're setting things like rafts or pausing at certain layers. I actually find that software to be quite good as well. So I don't think that there's a huge difference um, in terms of the usability for these softwares. The Elegoo 4 certainly stands out in terms of using the Clipper firmware and the Clipper firmware allows the printer to print at very high speeds. So as compared to the other three printers, the Elegoo 4 is going to print your prints probably on average about three times faster than the rest of these printers. Um, so this is a collapsing lightsaber that I printed really fun print in place design. So it prints all these layers all at once. And uh, if I had printed that on one of these other printers, it would have taken at least uh, 15, 16 hours, maybe even 20 hours. And on the Elegoo 4, it took six hours, which is still a long time, uh, but much faster than the other printers. So your big advantage of the four over these other printers is the speed. And if you're looking online, a printer that uses the Clipper firmware is much more likely to be able to work at high speeds and still have a nice quality print. So when it comes to print quality, I've been pretty happy with all of these printers. So I'm um, starting off with the Flash Forge. Um, I find it does a really consistent job um, printing. So this is something that I printed with the Flash Forge. Again, it's pretty smooth, not seeing a lot of lines. Um, really happy with the print quality overall on the Flash Forge. Both the Elegoos, I've been very happy with the print quality. So I'll show you again up close my lightsaber here that I printed with the four. Considering how fast these print, I don't see any sacrifice to the quality, which is really nice. If you watched my review on comparing the Elegoo with the Anycubic, uh, you'll see that I had some issues with the print quality on the Anycubic. Um, 
They've been able to resolve some of those issues by contacting their customer support through Amazon. I do um, definitely have to give credit to their customer support. They are really responsive. And so what they got me to do is print out a few models and then take pictures of them. And then they sent me some new parts. And so recently I printed this, which is uh, Pokemon chess pieces with the Anycubic been fairly happy with how it turned out. I still have a little bit of an issue with this first layer here that I can't quite figure out despite leveling a million times. Um, but again, I did note that when I recently went on Amazon, it looks like they've already upgraded this model. And what the description on Amazon says is that they're addressing some of the issues that I had. So hopefully um, that just improves the print quality further. And then my other Aligu, my Neptune 3 Pro, um, this is an example of a print that I did, a print in place toy all print in place with movable wheels. Again, I've been really happy with the print quality of the Elegoo and the Flash Forge uh, printers especially. Uh, one thing to note with the uh, Anycubic Elegoo printers versus the Flash Forge is that for the Elegoo and the Anycubic, both the bed itself moves and the printer head moves. Versus with the Flash Forge, it's just the printer head that moves. So just in terms of you know potential for mechanical errors, obviously there's two precise moving parts with these printers, but of course having that extra movement of the bed does allow it to be more precise and efficient. Um, I have contacted as well the customer support for Elegoo. I had one, the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro. I had a huge printer jam. This is all black filament that just completely exploded, essentially. Um, basically, I think I watched the first two layers and then left my print alone and came back and obviously those layers had peeled off. And then unfortunately, it just caused a huge backup of filament and this was really not salvageable. There was no way that this filament was coming off this print head. So I contacted them, sent them a picture and they did, again, not a sponsored post. I just went through regular Amazon um, customer service and they did send me a new print head um, pretty quickly. So I was quite happy with their customer service as well. Uh, another consideration is what type of device um, you can use to upload your files to your printer. Uh, the Flash Forge printer does have Wi-Fi capabilities, whereas the other ones, uh, you would need an additional part in order to create a Wi-Fi connection. The Flash Forge also uses USB. So does the Elegoo Neptune 4. It also uses USB. Personally, I much prefer USB versus these two, the Anycubic Cobra Neo and the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro use micro SD. Um, and so I just find that to be a pain because I don't have a micro SD slot on my computer. So I have to use one of those um, USB converters. They all come with a USB device or micro SD device. Um, included with the printer, but personally, I much prefer using USB. Uh, one thing I will note about my Elegoo printers was that both of them separately um, at one point stopped reading my either micro SD or USB cards. And then I went on Reddit and looked it up and it seems like it's a common problem. And so I had to actually update the firmware, which required, you know, downloading something onto a USB and then doing a hard reboot. So if you're not that tech savvy, it might not be the easiest thing to do, you'd have to probably be walked through it by customer support. A bit frustrating that it just stopped working and, and then it happened on both. So I think it is a known problem that hopefully they address or fix in the, in the future. Um, obviously when it comes to speed, uh, the Elegoo 4 is hands down the fastest printer. So if you're looking to print a high volume of things, um, the Elegoo 4 is gonna be, uh, like I said, about three times as fast as these other printers here. The Flash Forge is a little bit slower than the other two, the Anycubic Cobra Neo and the Elegoo 3 Pro. Um, so in terms of price point, I'm not gonna give you the current prices because obviously these are significantly subject to change. If you go on Amazon, you'll notice that there's a lot of promotions for 3D printers at times. So I suggest waiting until you get a nice promotion for the printer that you're interested in. But in general, uh, what I found is that the comparison point price is that these two printers, the 4 and the Flash Forge Finder, uh, are essentially similarly priced. And the Anycubic Cobra Neo and the Elegoo 
Neptune 3 Pro are similarly priced, although the Anycubic Cobra Neo is typically 50, even sometimes maybe $100 cheaper. So this one, the Anycubic Cobra Neo, is definitely the most affordable printer pretty consistently on Amazon. Um, it, I did have, like I've mentioned in my other video and today, I did have some print quality issues. Hopefully those are addressed with the new model, but personally, I would perhaps consider you know paying that little bit of extra to be assured a little bit more of the print quality with either the three or the four um when it comes down to these two printers which are the more expensive although still pretty reasonably priced for what you're getting um which is a pretty complex uh machine uh, that can print some pretty cool items the elegoo 4 is going to be your faster printer you're going to have much higher volume and the Flash Forge Finder is going to come fully assembled. So I really think that's what it comes down to when making a decision between these two. The Elegoo 4 is probably the better printer, but the Flash Forge Finder comes fully assembled. And if you're really not that tech savvy or you feel like you're not that great with um, assembling things and you just want to have something really easy to start off with 3D printing, then the Flash Forge Finder is a really great option in that way. Um, very, very accessible printer that's going to be your easiest to get started with. So overall, I think all of these printers are a great option. Um, I definitely think there is a printer for everyone here. And depending whether you want to consider most highly, you know, the price, the assembly, the print quality and speed, what you're looking for the most in a printer, you might find a different option here. I will link to, uh, the Amazon links for all of these printers in the description. And I'm also going to link to the dedicated review that I've done for each of these printers. Also have some tutorials on how to use a 3D printer and how to actually print some of these items that I'm showing today. How do you actually find a print like this and make it? So I'll link to those in the description as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're interested in 3D printing content, 3D pens, or coding for kids.